What's up everyone, it's Kink, and when I started playing Magic, Commander decks released only once a year, so by default, they were good. Now, we have Commander decks with every standard set and them some. With so many releases, it makes sense that they would get watered down over time. So this begs the question, which ones are good? The PTWs are taking select releases of Commander decks, pitting them against each other and slowly upgrading them based on performance with the goal of finding out which deck has the most potential. In short, we're going to pimp these precons. This season, the PTWs chose the Lord of the Rings Commander decks, and the rules were as follows. Card changes. After game one, players may change five cards. After each game, players may change three cards. First place replaces only two. Fourth place replaces four. Card changes are cumulative. Replacement cards can be changed again. After game one, eight cards total. After game two, 11 cards total, etc. If you add a card to the deck and it doesn't perform as desired, it may be changed out for another card. Card changes should not exceed the total changes acquired. Upgrades should adhere to pre-con theme. Upgrades should enhance the deck's theme instead of tech disruption. AB combos allowed. Fast mana not allowed except for Soul Ring. In the shop, we've got Pod 1. Consisting of PTW Vo, PTW Wiz, PTW Kink, and PTW G Man. Paramorphic Expanse Pass. That's a pretty lame play. I'm gonna Evolving Wilds and Pass. Now that's Drake Point right there. Draw. Plans. Pass. Draw. We are going to play a Hinterland. Harbor comes in tap because it's, you know, my first land pass. Draw. Well, we're going to go Mountain 2 for Humble B and pass the turn. Untap and draw. I'm excited about the Humble D. Catacomb, tap 2 for Never Flowing Chalice with one counter on it and pass. Draw. Godless Shrine. Take 2 so it comes in untapped. Black, white, Frodo. There we go. Now pass. Untap and draw. We got Rejuvenating Springs coming in on tap because there's two or more of you. And then we'll do two. Arwen Undomayel. Thank you. I got it exactly right. It's 2-2. Two, two. Whenever I scry, it gets plus one counter and I can scry for six past turn. Oh, I'm going to tap the D and send it to Wiz. Here it comes. Three. I'll pay two for Horn of the Mark. Says whenever two or more creatures I control attack a player, I look at the top five cards in my library, and I reveal a creature from among them and put it into my hand. I will pass the turn. Untap and draw. I'm gonna tap three. Two cast two. windfall. Oh, you asshole! Cards in hand, everybody. Seven. Oh, Sadness actually, on the in, in response, I'm gonna pass humble D to you. So I have eight. Seven. You know what? I'm not mad anymore. Great. It's okay, buddy. I'll play a swamp and pass. You made me discard my combo piece, but this hand's also fine. Great. <laughs> so everybody win. But apparently Guitar Man didn't like it, so that's good for No, I hate you. Months, right? See this has an absolute win. Draw. Sun Petal Grove. Three. Drad of the Elysian Grove. Play a forest and swing one at Wiz. Yeah, that makes sense. Roto. Then I will pass. Untap and draw. We got Exotic Orchard. Then we're going to do like one for a Soul Ring. Then I'm going to do four for Galadriel. My commander, Galadriel. Go to combat. And I'm super jealous I haven't gotten that D yet. Two to Vo. That's not how you get the D. Everybody's going to get some D. Get asked nicely. Nope. Jealous. That's not how you get the D. It's not how you get the D. I'm gonna draw a man tower, one for soul ring, and then I think 
just gotta get a one out there. Let's scry one off my path of ancestry. We can scry that away. And no D. What to do with this D? I've been assaulted. I don't feel like I should reward him for it, but... Well, I mean, you know, if you don't want it to happen again, maybe you should pay some D protection, you know? I'm just saying. The voting deck giving threats. Look at this guy. Alright, we'll give Kink some D. Walking I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna go to the instep and discard some tapped lands, and I'm gonna pass. So that's the trick, is I, I beat your dick in and then you give me stuff? Maybe not. When you put it like that, play a mountain. Fool me once, shame on me. I'll tap five and cast Extract from Darkness. Each player mills two cards. And then I may put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. I'll hit two lands. Fuck. Is it just me, or is there too many cards that do that now? So you just think that because my deck has all of them. I mean... <laughs> That's probably true. Humans. You and there's some humans. No. No. You get some elves, right? So, yeah, I'm just gonna get Burning Rune Demon. Yeah, that seems right. But I'll give King. Yeah, I got two elves. Give me a choice on what? We're talking about Burning Rune Demon? Talking about Burning Rune Demon. Bingo, bango, bongo. One of those cards. Demon of the Burning Rune and Rune on fire with a demon. That is correct, sir. <laughs> you can pick Lier or Incarnation Technique. I'll give you Incarnation Technique if you let me have it. Done. Hey, there you go. I know how to politics. Politics. That's my turn, pass. Untap. Draw three and command tower. We're gonna pay three for Sam for Braid's Arisen Nightmare. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna make a food when I go to combat. I'll put my D in front of it. Don't think I won't. Oh shit. Oh shit. I won't put my D in front of it. Hold my D hostage. Can't. I can't attack, might lose Frodo. Will lose Frodo. I will pass on by. Because all I really wanted was the food anyway. And then I will go to my end step. So I'm going to sacrifice the food. So everyone sacrifice artifact to take two life. I will take two life. And you draw a card. Yeah, I'm going to take two life. Was that fuck that I won't even sack my one mana rock into a soul ring? And then I will pass turn. Yeah, I'm also not sacrificing my soul ring. Untap. Draw. You wanna give me that D? Oh no. Give you an incarnation technique. Yeah, but I gave you the incarnation technique. Well, you didn't really have a choice. Yes, I did. I could have gave you the other thing. The other thing that allows me to cast spells from my graveyard? Yeah. And then you would have had to spend even more mana for the incarnation technique. I'll let you get right to the chase. That's a take. That sure is. We're going to tap two. Now I'm going to float one off my soul ring. Paradise Druid. Here you go. You can have this D back, though. Simon scares me with the D. I just got a <laughs> I don't guess I'm ever going to get the D. Nah, you scare me with the D too. You got, you're going to like put some braids on it. I'd see through your shams. I would never do that. Let's do three Legolas Greenleaf. And then we're going to go to combat. That's going to trigger Galadriel. And we're going to have a round of voting. I'm going to vote for Dominion. I'll vote for Dominion. Give me anything for voting with you? No. Nah, you can have it. Now get me a ring. Ring tempted. Plus one counter went on Galadriel. We're going to go to combat. And some of you people deserve to get punched. Now. Yeah, go get it. Yeah, Simon can't block. Yeah, but I might, I might think, think twice, twice about, about giving you something, something if you... We already had a deal. Look, our deal is a social contract. All right, man. Look. If you want to make a social contract, you have a part of it to a point. Hit him. Yeah, I'm going to hit you, Simon. All right, I'm not giving it to you. We'll see if you'll go back on your honor. And everyone will witness. Everyone will witness what kind of a man Sauron is. Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, altering the deal. That's it for me. Passing turn. Bo's going to get so many incarnations. Just that was awesome. You're gonna, go. <laughs> you're gonna take your damage. Yeah, you're gonna take your damage, you idiot. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna pay four for Frontier Warmonger. Creatures attacking my opponents or planeswalkers I control have Menace. I'm going to go to combat and make two knights. And then we're gonna get to swinging. 
I'm going to send the little knights at kink, and I'm going to send the humble D and Eowyn at Wiz. I'm going to get two triggers off Horn of the Mark. You send One, the two, humble three, four, D five. at me? Yep. In attack mode. Off of the first Horn of the Mark, I'm going to reveal Adriana, Captain of the Guard. That's not what I meant when I said give it. That means it's coming directly at you with its one eye staring you down. Horn of the Mark, I'm going to get Urkenbrand. What's happening? This artifact is whenever you attack a player with two or more creatures, you look at the top five and put a creature into your hand. Gas. Straight gas, dude. So much card advantage. Wiz, you got a 2-1 Menace and a 5-4 Menace, and Kink, you got 2-2-2 two, 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 Trample Menace. I'll take it all. Oh my god, there's Menace. Oh my god. Menace. I'll block one of the knights with Legolas and Arwen. Take two. We'll kill Legolas. <laughs> what a monster. In step. I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna okay, <laughs> untap and draw. Hey, so Kink. I'll give you good thing if you don't do bad thing to me. What? What is bad thing? Like, what? define bad thing. I don't know. Lowering my life a little. Oh. But is, hold on. Is this the good thing you already said you'd give to me that I gave to you so that we could share it together? Well. Well, you put it like that. Consider this an update to our contract. <laughs> oh. The altar. Yeah, no, I can't promise that. No five and get a thing? I can't promise that. Oh my god, okay. I would love to have it. So, for anyone watching, I'm not giving it to him on principle at this point. <laughs> and I'm giving it to Guitar Man. Fuck. Woo! That's not what you said. I know. And now everybody knows that Wizard goes back on his word. Fuck, not what you said. <laughs> I was ready for an incarnation technique, baby. We're gonna get Kyle's Provisioner. I'll get... A Hellkite Courser and get my commander. <laughs> Mill five. And I'll grab Shieldred. Mm. That's yucky. Shieldred, the Whispering One. Everybody hates her. That's yucky. Let's do six off the top for Kink and nine Trample at Vo. That seems right. Was well, this fly or something? Yeah. Okay. Did you not see my sword to plowshare mana? I mean, go for it. I mean, I still got 30 life. I don't need to right now. And uh, if everybody's taking their damage, I'll just pass through my second main and pass. Untap. Draw. So, Guitar Man, there's a heavy implication here that if you deal damage to me, I'm not going to give you nice things. Well, in your upkeep, you got sack a creature, so just remember that when you're making your decision. Oh, you're already going to kill me on your turn, so relax. Oh, uh, sacrifice Frodo. I will play Vault of Champions, make a food. Play Swamp for my additional land, make another food. We'll pay six for Marionette Master. Oh, yeah. Fabricate Yucky. to put three plus one plus one counters on it. Fellas, I'm scared. And I will go to my combat phase. I'm not giving him anything. Same will make another token. And still not feeling comfortable on the whole swinging thing. You have menace if you don't attack me. Whatever that's worth. I'll swing Dryad of the Elysian Grove and Tireless Provisioner over at Kink. We just talked about Shieldered, right? He doesn't have we any did. good attacks over there. Wiz got a bunch of six, six tight creatures. <laughs> well, how much? Five total. Thank you for taking the sir. Kind sir, my ass. They have menace. And then I will pay one sack of food, gain three life. Marionette master, Simon will take four. Me? No, I'm just kidding. Four. And then I'll pay one sacrifice of food, gain three life, and Bo will take four. And we'll go to my end step. I'll sacrifice the food, and Wiz will. Well, no, I've already done Wiz. Kink will take four your name. I was gonna say we could do Wiz again. Yeah, you know? I think that's still on the table. And then everyone take two life or second artifact. I'll take two, two for me. Two for me. And then I roll a pester. Whoopie doo! We're gonna untap and draw. Play a flooded grove. We're going to tap five. Devastation tide. All them non-land permanents go back to your hand. Don't like that. 
my only response is I'm gonna path my token to get a land. I'll put Gladriel in my hand, and then I'll do three for Elrond, Lord of Riverdale. And when he enters the battlefield, I get to scry. Yeah, that can stay. And I'll pass. That was crazy. Crazy. Flashiest play. One for Soul Ring. Pick five for Eowyn. Scry off the path. That's fine. Two for Humble D. I know him. Go to combat. Make two knights. Good time to get in for it. Guitar Man. Move the instep. And I'm going to drop Kindred Discovery and Faramir into the graveyard. I'm going to pass. Are y'all, like, into living death right now? Draw. Yes. Do it. <laughs> you won't. My god. Please. No, I, I wanted to draw it, but I didn't. I think I'm stacked on creatures. I'll tap six and cast Burning Rune Demon. Yeah, I got seven creatures. I'm gonna get Reanimate and Living Death. Bo, you can pick. You can have Living Death. Thanks, but I'll pass my turn and go to discard. Untap. Draw. I'll discard Hellkite, Corsair, Shieldred, and Sauron. Load up the graveyard. Heard. You want to exile it? Go for it. Load up the graveyard, not the battlefield. Yeah, don't play anything. Just put things in your graveyard. He might be doing a thing next year, you know. I guarantee, but... I might be doing a little thing. I might know a thing or two about a thing or two. I'm gonna pick elves. Just out of curiosity, I'm just gonna put all the creatures in my graveyard on the top. One of three. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Three. Protilus Provisioner, play Thwant Dark Boar, Pathway, make a food token, pay one Sam Will Attendant, and I will go to Instep and discard what here, Greatest of the Eagles, and Raids, and pass turn. Untap, draw, island, to Paradise Druid, Soul Ring, with these two, Gladriel, and I'll do two for... Arwen Undomriel. And then three Elrond triggers. Scry one. That can go to the bottom. Scry one. That can go to the bottom. Scry one. I can stay. The ring would tempt me. So ring goes to phase two. And we'll go to combat. And sends elves into the battlefield besides Galadriel this turn. We'll have a voting. I want to vote for Dominion. Guy. But how are you voting? You said you're. Oh, you said you were feeling guidance, but maybe that you were voting. Okay. Well, I guess I'll draw a card then. Galadriel would have been my ring bearer again. Fast turn. Planes. Will there be a living death? Lord knows. I mean, you can just ask me. Tell me if you want me to or not. I don't know. You did put it in my hand, so it kind of feels like you want me to. Yeah. Like, I can do other stuff. Uh, you're good. I'm going to pay two for Horn of the Mark. I'm going to yeah, pay no. four for Frontier Let's Warmonger. So creatures have Manache when they attack my opponents. We're going to go to combat, make two knights, have six more humans, and draw a card. And then we're going to go two knights. At Real quick before you decide, I forgot a trigger that Galadriel would be fatter from Arwen putting counters on her for scrying. Uh, uh, Trigger. I'm gonna get Fiend Hunter and third Horn of the Mark trigger. That face when I just board wipe instead. I'm scared. We'll get uh, AOR. I'm getting your commander and Humble D coming at me. Yep, it's a 5 4 menace and a 2 1 menace. And Wiz took four kink, two two two. I'll block Sam and Tireless Prefer Fissioner into Humble D. Then. You never okay. gave it to me, Wiz. Okay. I'll block. One of them with Arwen and Galadriel. Die! You gotta kill Arwen. Yeah. I'm gonna move to the end step and throw some stuff in the bin. Combat Celebrant and Fiend Hunter. And I'm gonna pass. Untap and The bonkening. The bonkening! I'm gonna tap four for Relic of Sauron. And yeah, I'm gonna tap five and attempt to cast Living Death. You get it. Everybody down? I mean, I don't know if I'm down, but I don't think I have a choice. When I sack Sam, I'll send him to the command zone. Oh. To the bin, to the bin. I guess we put Eowyn back in the command zone. 
And then when facing Hobbit enters the battlefield, I'm going to have him eat up food, and he will get two plus one. Uh, Bo, you got ETB triggers? Yes. I become the Monarch. Cool. I have some Mentor of the Meek triggers I'm not going to pay for. <laughs> I've got Selfless Squire, which prevents all combat damage that would be dealt to me this turn. And I've got when this creature ETBs exile another target creature. And then when it leaves the battlefield, the exiled creature comes back. You got a lot of stuff over there, Wiz. Got some stuff. Like a lot of stuff. Let's exile Children, and then she comes what? back when uh, Fiend Hunter leaves the battlefield. Yeah, that's a fiend. Then I'm going to have Legolas ETB first, so that when my other two legendaries come in, he'll get two plus one counters. And that's it. And Guitar Man did his plus Thief, two. which is worth mentioning. Uh, Monstrosity of the Lake, which I'm not going to activate. Sauron, which is whenever you cast a spell, I amass one. And Hostage Taker. Oh, what's your scariest thing? Either Boromir or Combat Celebrant. Yeah, Combat Celebrant. I know what that card does. <laughs> well, I, I fucking know what that one says! <laughs> and uh, then I have a Hellkite Courser, and I will get Sauron into play, and I'll swing it at Guitar Man. Whoa! How yeah. big is it? It's a 9-9 Trample. You can take 9, you got the life. Now I'll go back to my Command Zone on my end step, and I'll tap. Untap. Draw. We're gonna pay one, two, and cemetery for Bolus's Citadel. Oh my! Holy moly! That's allowed. That's a Monty Malison. Look at the top card of my library. It's... So I will pay one life and cast it. ETB make a food. I will play a force. I'll look at the top of my deck. Oh, a Citadel and a green deck. That's crazy. And then I will do. Green, white, and the other two don't matter. For tree beard, gracious host, I will make another two food tokens, and then I will swing go here in the air for five. Do you have a five five coming at you? Oh, and shit. When, oh, I can give another creature flying too. So I'll swing Kadira, collar of the small, at you as well, and give her flying, and she's well, a different. three three. <laughs> And so I'll make a rabbit, which I will turn around and sacrifice the rabbit to braids on my instep. So I get a creature. Yep. Yeah, I'll sacrifice my monstrosity. Anyone gonna take the life or sacrifice? Also, you're the monarch. I'm gonna sack Jorger Warcaller. Just lose two. That's oh fine. my god. Draw on. I balls on this god. Then I will pass time. Untap. Draw. Thornwood Falls. Gain a life. OP. How many cards have everybody got in their hands? I got five. Uh -huh. Well, that sounds good. Maybe uh, you like that? I do like that. Okay. Tap six. Realm Seekers. And then I think I'm going to tap two for Lightning Greaves. Oh, that's good. And then I think I'm going to give Realm Seekers Lightning Greaves. So, yeah, I got a 1919 blocker, fuckos. Past turn. In step. I'm gonna cast Village Bell Ringer. ETB oh. untaps creatures. Oh no. He's a 1 4 though, so that's good. I'm gonna untap draw, play a Glacial Fortress. Think about if math is for blockers or what. Ugh, math's for me. Yuck. I'm gonna cast Adriana of the Guard. Let's scry. That is a pretty good one, but I'm gonna put a bottom it. When she comes into play, I'll become the Monarch. Then I think I'm going to pay for and cast Anachroma's Will. Don't control my commander, so I don't get both, but I think that's okay still. What are you getting? I'm gonna choose Lifelink Indestructible and Protection from All Colors. Okay. So no double strike, no vigilance. A thumbs down from. Seeing a thumbs down from over there. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, anyway, anyway I don't think we're gonna kill G Man, but we got to do we'll some try. extreme mathing here. All right, we're going one over to lethal to Wiz, one over lethal to Kink, and fourteen to G Man. Can't be blocked. And they have life link. Why can't they be blocked? Because they have protection from all colors. Fuck. <laughs> all my creatures are colored. <laughs> Shit. Well, GG. Don't even try and kill Guitar Man. 
He's killing everybody. I was gonna reanimate the monstrosity and tap everybody down. It was gonna be sick. That does sound sick. I'm gonna go to the incep and the monarch. Don't lie to the poor boy. I've got my horn of the mark triggers. I whiff on the first one. Get a bastion protector on the second one. This horn of the mark is gas, dude. Get a weather wayfarer on the third one, then draw two for the monarch, and then probably go to discard. Yeah, we'll get weather wayfarer out of here. We'll pass the turn. Canopy vista for land. The top card. We're going to deadly dispute. Pay two life. I will sacrifice a food as an additional cost to cast it, and draw two cards and create a treasure token. Treasure. My only untapped creature is a 4-4. Also on my end step, I should have done this guy, which says, if you attack me this turn, at the end of the turn, I'll make three humans. If you don't attack me, I draw a card. And I should have two 1-1s. One pay two life for Prosperous Innkeeper. We'll pay four. I will pay two and tap Gilded Goose to make a food token. Then I will pay five to fill the Mighty. And I will target Gilded Goose, destroy all creatures with a power greater than target creature's power, so everything greater than zero. And I'm going to sack Boromir to give my guys indestructible. I will pay to an heroic intervention to also make my permanence indestructible. Perfect. Pay three for Mentor of the Meek, ETB, Prosperous Innkeeper. And treasure token and gain a life for the meat comes in. I'm just gonna swing out. We're here, braids, feasting hobbit, savvy hunter, Kadira, tree beard, and I gained life once this turn. So I will put a plus one plus one counter on tree beard. We'll give feasting hobbit flying. So he's a five five in the air. You have another five five in the air. Now you have a 3-3 three, three on the ground, a 3-3 three, three on the ground, another 3-3 three, three on the ground, a 1-6 on the ground. I'll pay 20. On the monarch. <laughs> and then I it. I'll pay 2 to get Farmer Cotton off the top of my deck and put him into the battlefield and gain a life. We'll look at whatever's on the top of my deck. And then I will, I'm going to tap and sacrifice Bolus's Citadel. Tap. Bye bye, Citadel. All my permanents. And to me. And I will pass the turn. I'm gonna play an island and I'm gonna fucking dome you over the top, probably, I think. Six. I'm gonna cast Aomer, King of Rohan. He's gonna be a 15 15, and I'm gonna bonk you in the head for 15. Bonked. GG. Like this video and subscribe to the PTW YouTube channel to see more content and to find out when our new videos release. Follow the PTW Twitch channel and subscribe for ad free viewing. Don't forget to follow that Facebook and that Twitter to keep up with all the good news. But don't forget to check out the new merch store. Best way to support the PTW crew and get cool shit at the same time. Thank you all for watching. Indeedle my Weedle.